Good morning, fellas. Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to swap out this one. This is uh, your battery switch. Your battery switch. Uh, if uh, if you have uh, if you have the original one, it's gonna last you about six or seven years. After that, uh, this one from Freightliner uh, cost me fifty-two bucks, but I swapped this one out already uh, two years ago, and uh, it's acting up. And I turn off my batteries every day and turn them on every day, so I think that's why the switch is going off. Uh, the switch is not hard. Uh, on my truck, my switch is down here right above the, the batteries. So, I mean, the first thing you're doing is uh, you're taking this little guy off. This one came from that one. Uh, it's got a little screw right there, and it's real easy. Uh, you take this one off as well. And then uh, you got two nuts in the back, which are the negative and the positive cable to the batteries go to so that's all i'm gonna do fellas uh i'm just gonna loosen up the nuts from the back which are these two right here these two because it goes in like this these two right here and then hook up the cables to it and it should be ready to go and uh you guys might be asking yourself well why is he swapping it out uh what did the truck do uh well, I swapped out the alternator yesterday, and uh, come to find out it wasn't the alternator, uh, it was the switch. The switch kind of acts up sometimes when it's going out, uh, where uh, it just gives you a whole bunch of weird codes, you know, as far as electrical. So you got to go down the line, uh, check out the alternator, check out your starter, and then uh, your fuses. You want to check the fuses, your fuse box right here. You got uh, three or four fuses right here, the real thick, long fuses. You gotta check your fuses out, and then uh, you gotta check your switch, and then you gotta check your batteries to uh, see how much they're pushing. Well, come to find out that it's the switch. So the switch is going bad. Uh, my truck turned off on me one time, and then uh, it just came back on automatically. Well, not, not automatically, but I had to switch the key again, and it came back on. So, them are the signs, them are the sy symptoms that you're going to get from uh, the switch going back bad on you. So, I'll be right back as soon as I'm done taking that switch apart. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, fellas. Well, uh, pretty much took it apart. Uh, took one of the nuts and the washers off that go to the back, and then... Uh, took this one off right here so put that to the side and then we got one last one in the back and the switch is just as it's, it's it's like a snap on you would say because it goes into the hole and then you just hook up a, uh, hook up your cables in the back and that's it that's pretty much it fellas so just push on this guy of course don't forget your cap push on it and then uh let me show you guys what it looks like from the back see that's what it looks like so you can't miss this cable is going to go to your right the other cable is going to go to your left that's pretty much it that's what it looks like right there fellas so we're gonna take out the old one and put on a new one now I was gonna try to put that cable that switch somewhere up here so it would be uh, right there where where the seat is where most cascaders have it but too lazy all right, fellas, let me get to this, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's brand new. Well, here's the old switch, fellas. We've installed the new switch. There it is. Uh, all I got to do is just put the little knob on there. But this is one thing I wanted to uh, point out to you guys. All right, on the switch, there's a line right there. 
this line should be facing down because uh, once you put it in, you're gonna be like wondering like, does it go like this or does it go like that? All right, that groove looking line, can you see the line? Yeah. That groove looking line should be facing down. So your switch will go on like that. So all I got next is just uh, to put this little knob on. Uh, you need a real small screwdriver for this one because uh, the screw, the groove on the screw is real small. So I'm gonna put that on. Uh, don't know how. It's the first time I put a switch on. All I did was uh, all I did was uh, get a. Uh, get a verbal schooling from my mechanic. So he just said to do it like this. So I'm doing it like the way he said to put it on. So let's see if it works. It feels like it's getting tight. Feels pretty tight, fellas. That's it. And there's a switch. Damn, that thing seems like it's getting stuck somehow. I'll check it out. Anyways, I was ho I hope I was able to help somebody out. Uh, we'll see you guys on our next video.